here comes product backlog. So this product backlog backlog is analogous to your SRS document in a waterfall model. Okay, so a typical what does a typical SRS model have? It has out of scope, in scope, right? It com it is a it has complete list of features and how what would it exactly assist, uh, that particular feature do? Detailed description. Whereas product backlog would have all the requirements in the form of a story. Right? It is a complete list of features and based on your discussions with client, product owner, you prioritize that feature list. Okay? Now this backlog is maintained here by the product owner. So yesterday we were talking about the product owner. So the main task of product owner is this uh, product backlog prioritized up to date. So if there are certain requirements which has now, which were initially needed and now are no more needed, it's a duty of a product owner to remo remove them from the backlog. And if there are more ch requirements coming in, it's a duty of a product owner to add them. But then at the later stage when these requirements are to be worked, they are de detailed out in discussion with the team. He just enters a probably one or two liner statements to describe a story, but the detailed description and the acceptance criteria would always be done in association with the team. He just owns it, but it's maintained and uh, detailed out by a complete team. Right? Even all the defects, features, bug, improvement requests should be part of your product backlog. So the typical example, uh, if I go back to my yesterday's example where I mentioned that if uh, you realize that uh, Josh is a common name and it should be added and your username field level validation should change from two to more, right? So this improvement request, I believe, if you're working in Agile, would go back in your product backlog. Product, ba product owner would prioritize this in discussion with his stakeholder. And if he feels that the priority of this particular improvement is very high, he will put it at the priority as P1. And once you uh, pick new, once, once your team is ready to pick new requirements, it would be picked up and worked upon. Okay. And uh, uh, who would be yeah. the uh, product owner normally, uh, whether the business analyst or the project manager or the one who uh, usually communicate with the client or? Who is the project owner? So the ideal project uh, product owner role would be the one who has strong command. Strong command as it not that he is scolding people all the time. Strong command in a way that he, he, he is authoritative. He can take control. Right? If there is something which he cannot pass on to the team, he should not get pressurized. Like for example, if my client comes and tells me, no, 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 this is what I want immediately, this is what I want immediately, and team is, and but I also want the other things to be worked on. Right? So if my team is working on two features and the client comes suddenly and says, okay, I want a third feature as well. But he is not ready to take out one of the features from the currently act, uh, active features then product owner should be able to take a uh, take a stand that no my team is working on two features they don't have so much bandwidth we will not be able to pick those plus at the same time he should have complete knowledge of the system as well right he should be the gatekeeper of the requirements he should have that power or he should be capable enough to uh, act as a gatekeeper Okay, and uh, who will be the uh, product uh, champion? I, I saw that uh, name while I was uh, taking the quiz. So I got confused who is the product, I mean the product champion and the product owner. There is no term called product champion. That would be the wrong option in that case. I see, okay. I see, okay. Yeah, any other question? Okay, so the, uh, if you can see, sorry? Uh, we can go ahead. 
Yeah. So uh, if you can look at the screen, this is a typical example of a product backlog. So if you look at the blue bar, you would see ID theme as A and I want to so that notes priority status. Can somebody quickly tell me what would be a theme? Hmm. Theme would be what? A scenario or um? No. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, theme. It's, it's one of the division or LOB or. Yes. Yes. So theme is nothing but the domain we were talking about. You just mentioned that a feature list would be divided on basis of their domains like DBA, uh, probably backend or maybe testing or something of that sort. So it's a domain, UI, so UX would be one theme. So all the, uh, all the features, all the story requirements or all the requirements which would need a UI change would be one part of one theme. They would be called, they would be, again, this would be a metaphor that uh, teams would can use. They can, they, some of them might be using UI, some of them might be using UX, right? That is theme. So collection of a similar kind of uh, requirements is, is called theme. So collection of all the UI related requirements would be one theme. Collection of all the DBA related uh, requirements would be one, another theme. Okay, so now if I move to third column, which is as a, so let's look uh, talk about the uh, another example that we were discussing yesterday. Uh, as a HR manager, I should be able to do a search so that I can view the resumes, right? So as a is a persona. So my as a here in this case would be HR manager. I want to is what I want to actually perform. What is my expectation out of the system? I want to perform a search. So that is why do you want to perform a search? Right? So that I can view the resume or maybe I can download the resume. Okay? Okay. Um, then notes is something uh, you want to mention some TS or some special additional notes you would want want to mention that's a typical thing it, this is optional you might have you might not have priority is must so there are different ways you can prioritize your uh, product backlog it, you can simply use the terms critical high showstopper these are the terms you can use or maybe simple priority 1, priority 2, priority 3. These are the terms. Another priority term that we generally use in Agile is called Moscow. Moscow, the full form of Moscow is must have, should have, could have, would have. Must have is priority 1. Should have, okay, it's good to have. Could have, I can think of having it. Would have, okay, if time permits, I would think about it. Okay, so these are the few priorities which we'll be again talking about in a later, later stage as well. But this is how you can prioritize. And then again, status is your uh, to maintain the traceability, done, in progress, open, pending, waiting for the response from the clarity or something of that sort, whatever you need. So this is a typical structure of a product backlog. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. A quick and is question. Who determines how much of the product backlog can be de delivered in the upcoming sprint? Product owner, scrum master, team, project manager.
can be delivered to whom can be delivered to the client or uh, right. in the market right. uh, uh, yeah in the cloud to the client okay can be delivered to the, the client right okay just let me know when you want to see the answer The product owner, I think. Okay, uh, and uh, Anitha, what about you? I would say the same because he knows exactly the most of the product. Mm -hmm. Because see, it's Scrum Master and Project Manager is basically into the operation thing, and team is ah team. Wow. Yes. Now let. I would have gone in, uh, last last with this. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's, let's come back to the product man, product backlog definition. So here what we decided was product, discussed was product owner owns it, he prioritizes it, but all the detailing out and all the acceptance criteria are written with by the team in discussion with the product owner. And it's the team, so once the product owner prioritizes, the team pick up those, those prioritized list of features and it's they who decide which features, how they will work. Product owner defines the priority but they, it doesn't command team to work on some, on those features. It's the team who picks up the features. It's again, goes back to the agile manifesto or agile principle empowered teams.